he said that he was punched in the face and kicked in the head and he has no recollection of anything after that. Then why did Matt go to the hospital that night is what I want to know. When did you go to the hospital, sir? I went to the hospital um, the, the next day. morning, right after I left Missy's house. First, then I went to, first I went to the hospital and then I went over to the sheriff's station and I filed a report and, and the, um, the, my doctor in urgent care in Glendale said Don't that I was very, very said. lucky to be alive. Don't tell me what your doctor okay. said. I'm just... But that's when you went to the, that's when you went to the doctor yes, the next day. Ms. LaBeouf, don't you believe you have any responsibility towards his injuries? No, because I don't feel that I started the fight. The fight, it, it took place in your home. It took place in your home. You know who started the fight? The minors that they brought to the party. When you have a party in your home, you almost act as an insurer for the guests. You understand that? Yes. Well, you know. I assume that you haven't sued Miss LaBeouf for this for the injuries that no, you not sustained. Yet, Your Honor. No. Well. How do you feel about this door? In, as I as as Missy said, I initially I felt badly about the door. I, she, we have been friends for a long time. Mm -hmm. Then as I had time to think about it, I thought, why am I fixing this door? I did what I would have done the same for you or her or anyone else. And if it had been Missy who had been laying in the bushes and I'd kicked the front door in to call 911, there's no way she would have sued me. If I'd been at someone else's house and I, I had no choice to do it, and if I had it to do over again, I'd do it a hundred times. I'd kick ten doors in. That's what I had to do. Ethically and morally, if not legally, I felt I was lo obligated to do it. And if that's wrong, I don't want to be right. This young man is going to have a coronary unless he comes up and tells me what he has to say. <laughs> I see him out of the corner of my eye. I assume you have something germane to say to me, sir. Do you? Sure. Sure. You better be. <laughs> well, uh... Your name first. My name's Ed. Ed what? Witness. Ed Marchand. Um, after uh, Matt was assaulted, um, he was laying on the ground and he was attempting to get up. And Chris, being an older brother, was concerned, and rightfully so. And I was right there with him when he called 911. I was going to go and assist him to do that. I almost went to grab him and I almost was struck in the face with, when he went to kick the door with the back of his foot. It was mm -hmm. right there and I couldn't believe that he actually managed to kick the door down in one kick. Did you witness this assault, sir? I didn't actually see him getting struck in the head, but I was less than 10, 15 feet away. But you saw him on the ground? I saw him on the ground. And you saw his brother upset? Yes. And you heard his brother, defendant, ask Miss LaBeouf to call 911? Yes. And she did not go. She did not go. I offered to. to she help. did not go. She did not go. He was standing with his brother, mm -hmm. and he asked the host of the party to please go and call the police because his brother had just been assaulted. Correct. Right. The host did not call. Correct. Correct. This case is dismissed. Thank you. Oh.